The deen is a struggle in this life. The Prophet ﷺ described days that get so severe that holding on to the deen is like holding on to a burning hot coal. And the reward for holding on to the deen when things get exceedingly difficult is 50 times the reward of those who preceded you. And so on the day of judgment, that burning hot coal is going to be replaced by what? By light in your hand. You sacrificed dunya for the sake of this deen. Now, on the other hand, those who exploit deen for the sake of dunya are in the worst state. So if you're doing the deeds of the hereafter, but only for worldly benefit, you don't show up on the day of judgment and expect reward for these deeds again. The Prophet ﷺ said that on that day, the people would be summoned along with the idols that they used to worship, one after the other. So everyone is standing in front of what they used to worship. And the Prophet ﷺ says, then our Lord will come to us and we will hear him say, who are you waiting for? Now we don't see him, we just hear his voice. So they would say, we are waiting for our Lord. And he would say, Ana Rabbukum, I am your Lord. And they will say, we are going to stay here until our Lord comes to us. And when our Lord comes to us, then we will recognize him. So because they can only hear him, and they can't see him yet, and they see everyone standing before their false gods. They're listening and they're staying put. And this is actually a beautiful reflection of سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا We hear and we obey. So this is a praiseworthy trait of the believers that we're going to wait until we know that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanding us to move and we will stay in our place until then. And then they say حَتَّى نَنْظُرَ إِلَيْكَ Until we see you and we can confirm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifests himself to them, smiling and laughing. And the Prophet said, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes them with him and they would follow him. Now at that point, every person, the Prophet said, whether a hypocrite or a believer would be given a light and they all make their way towards the sirat, towards the bridge. And then the filtration process starts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not filter us out. Allahumma ameen. Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I heard the Prophet sallallahu say that our Lord will lay bare his shin. And of course, all of this is in a way befitting to him and far away from our imagination. But the Prophet sallallahu said that Allah azza wa in a way that's befitting to him, will lay bare his shin. And then all the believers, men and women, will make sujood, they'll prostrate themselves before him. But there will remain those who used to prostrate in this world just out of showing off. And when those people try to make sujood, when they try to prostrate, the Prophet ﷺ said, their back will be as stiff as a rod. What Allah tells us in the Quran, the day that they will see what Allah reveals of Himself to them. And they are called to sujood, they are called to prostrate, and they're not going to be able to. And they used to be called to prostrate for the sake of Allah in this world but now they can't. And then you have scholars who taught one thing, but they did the opposite. And the Prophet Sallallahu describes to us a very scary scene that they're walking around and their insides are out and they're dragging them. And people are surprised because they say, didn't you used to tell us to do this and not do that? Weren't you one of those who was teaching us? And he says, yes, but I used to do the complete opposite of what I taught you. May Allah protect us. And so this is the hypocrite of those who preach or of those who teach and in private do everything in contradiction of what they used to teach the people. And you have all of those like them. And when they come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, he says to them and all of those who are using the religion to seek attention or to seek the reward of others, Go to those that you used to show off to in this world and see if they have any jaza, see if they have any reward to offer you today. So it's not just you were standing in front of the idol or the false god. Those people that you were acting for and seeking reward for, Allah knows your heart and Allah knows why you were doing what you were doing. Allah says, go to them, go to that person. See if they can help you today. See if they have anything to give you today. Now there's a very important turning point 
to understand when it comes to the scene of the Day of Judgment. The Prophet taught us that at this point, the heavens and the earth, the place of assembly, all of it is rolled up, it's gone. At this point, it's only hellfire and the sirat, the bridge over it, and then Jannah, and then paradise. And there's this entire scene happening before the attempted crossing over the sirat, which in many ways is the final major course of this day. And then you have this parable in Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah Azza wa talks about the hypocrites. مَثَلُهُمْ كَمَثَلِ الَّذِي اسْتَوْقَدَ نَارًا فَلَمَّا أَضَاءَتْ مَا حَوْلَهُ ذَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِنُورِهِمْ وَتَرَكَهُمْ فِي ظُلُمَاتٍ لَا يُبُصِرُونَ Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says that the example of them are like those who kindled a fire. And then once it lit up everything around them, Allah Azza wa Jal took away the light and left them in the darkness where they could no longer see. And Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah says something very powerful. He says, notice that Allah says the burning stays, but the low, the light is gone. So it's like the light of the fire is gone, but now they have to suffer the consequences of the fire that they themselves kindled. For the believers, now they have their light after the sincere struggle. When they were holding on to that burning hot coal in dunya, now this is going to be replaced for them. And in Surah Al-Hadid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sets the scene. يَوْمَ تَرَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَسْعَى نُورُهُمْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِأَيْمَانِهِمْ بُشْرَاكُمُ الْيَوْمِ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمِ On the day when you would see the believing men and the believing women, their lights proceeding far in front of them and in their right hands. And it is said to them, بُشْرَاكُمُ الْيَوْمِ Good news for you today. There are jannat, gardens beneath which rivers flow, and you will live therein forever, and this is the great success. Now, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he describes this, he says that the light in front of you is biqadri a'malika, in accordance with the level of your deeds, just like your shade in the initial standing was in accordance with your deeds. So now that the lights are off, it's dark, it's not the sun anymore, it's dark, and people are seeking a light, their charity extends the light in front of them the way that their charity extended the shade above them in the beginning of this day. And he said عنه, that some people have light as large as a mountain. Some people have it like a tree. And for some, it's just the size of themselves, meaning it's like a shadow, the space that a shadow would occupy, but in light right in front of them. As for their right hands, what do you think is shining in their light hands? It's their book of deeds that they're still holding on to from when Allah Azza wa gave them their book in their right hand. May Allah make us amongst them, Allahumma ameen. So you've got your book in your right hand and it's shining to an extent, and then you have some light in front of you. So as they are proceeding forward, the hypocrites who have been benefiting from the light of the believers next to them, they realize that they don't have any light anymore and they're starting to get left behind. And then at that point, as the believers are going forward and the hypocrites are being left behind, يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتُ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أُنْذُرُونَ نَقْتَ بِسْمِ النُّورِكُمْ قِيلَ ارْجِعُوا وَرَاءَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوا نُورًا فَضُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورٍ لَهُ بَاب بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَظَاهِرُهُ مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَذَابِ On that day, the hypocrites, both men and women, will call out to the believers, men and women, and say, أُنْذُرُونَ Wait for us! نَقْتَ بِسْمِ النُّورِكُمْ Let us benefit from your light. The believers who are going ahead are saying, go back and see if you can find a light. And then at that point, a barrier is erected between them. Allah says that inside of it is mercy and outside of it is punishment. And now the hypocrites are panicking. They call out to them and say, weren't we with you? Now realize this language is very intentional. The hypocrites in Medina, that were pretending to be believers, to take advantage of the situation. They used to say to the believers when they would see them, that inna ma'akum, we are with you. And then they'd go and they'd say the same to the enemies of the Prophet So now this time it's not working. So these are the worst types of hypocrites. So the believers call back out. Bala, walakinnakum fatantum anfusakum, wa tarabbastum, wa rtabtum, wa gharratkum al-amani, hatta jaa amrullah, they will reply, yes, but you allowed yourselves to be tempted. You were hesitant, you were doubtful, and you were deceived by all of these false hopes until finally the command of Allah came. 
And the deceiver, the chief deluder being the shaitan, tricked you in regards to your Lord. And it's at this point that the believers look back and the hypocrites are extinguished as well. So they have no light and they are suffering their punishments. And the believers are moving forward with a barrier erected behind them and the bridge in front of them. And Allah Azza wa tells us in Surah Al-Tahreem that they call out, رَبَّنَا أَتْمِمْ لَنَا نُورَنَا وَاغْفِرْ لَنَا إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Our Lord, complete our lights for us, perfect our lights for us and forgive us. We all have things that we're afraid of and you have power over all things. So as they are going forward and they're holding on to their lights and you're hoping that it doesn't extinguish and you are hoping that the light in front of you stays at least at what it is, you're now about to get to the initial crossing of the Silat. <laughs> فهو في عيشة راضية